hi guys and welcome back to my channel before i go into um liverpool stuff i would like to congratulate all women with international women's day i hope you have a good day i hope you enjoy yourself i hope that this day has brought you joy and even if it hasn't then i hope everything sorts out for you just remember that you're beautiful and you can achieve everything you want if you put your mind to it but now from positive things to not so positive things and what i mean with it is our defeat six defeat in a row at anfield against fulham sounds all gloom and doom <laughs> so now I just want to know why it happened. There is no one answer why it happened. There probably is a reason, a couple of reasons why it happened. But I'll start with team selection. Uh, so after Chelsea game, I thought that there would be changes. I thought that there would be quite a lot of changes. And it happened. <laughs> there were a lot of changes. What surprised me was um, that Klopp trusted Reese Williams to play in centre back, which I thought was a bit of a bold move, but I didn't see a lot wrong with him. Maybe like in a way that he's still pretty young and pretty inexperienced, so he definitely wasn't the reason why we lost. Definitely not. Um, I was a bit surprised to see Neko Williams playing. Uh, but I thought that both Robo and Trent needed the time off, so I was a bit surprised that uh, Robo wasn't given the time off. Um, but yeah, everything else, the front three midfield, I was a bit um, bit surprised to see Milner in there. I would put Thiago, but it's probably because we had the game on Wednesday, so uh, he was probably saved for that. And the front three... Shakiri Jota and Salah, yeah, I kind of expected it because I thought Mane and Bobby would be given a break, which happened kind of for Mane and Bobby obviously is injured now. But yeah, I don't really think the problem was the team selection. Because when you put our team against the Fulham team, we still, still should have won, we still have better quality players in all positions well maybe not center back yet but i feel like we do have better players in uh, in all positions um but uh, when the game started i felt like fulham went straight on it straight on the game plan started from the first second concentrated on winning this game we started a bit sloppy we couldn't even get pos ball position it was just all weird it felt like we're touching finding the rhythm and it just wasn't clicking together and all of us were like here we go again <laughs> there was still hope in all of our heads that things would change there were some blips of like good pass or a good shot or something but yeah 44th minute when i was already thinking please just just until halftime, just let's do, let's keep it nil-nil. And then no, one nil. And then I was thinking about what Robo said, that many heads go down after we go one nil down. And I was thinking, no, <laughs> why this? But in my head, I kind of knew that probably this is how the game's gonna end. Because now the, the full Fulham team would, go on defense and we will just have a really hard time to score or even to have a shot on goal. Uh, what I did think is the substitutions were made a bit too late. Like I would have put Fabinho and Trent on after the 40, after the halftime, not on the 60th or 70th minute and Mano would come on probably like 50th or 60th minute because the second all of three, all of all three of them were substituted. I just felt like we were getting into the rhythm, but there was just not enough time to score a goal. So I felt like this potentially might be a bit of uh, Klopp's fault with the team selection playing Nicole Williams, um, with 
still playing such a high line because obviously we were so exposed and every time like we tasted our own medicine our own medicine from last year oh when Van Dyke used to just feed the ball to Salah and Salah scores so this time Fulham didn't score for that kind of situations but there were many many dangerous attempts when there was just one long ball and a really dangerous situation because I thought there would be only like two attacks from Fulham but that wasn't the case so yeah team selection high line and then the substitutions I don't think they were made in time they had to be made much sooner but then yet I'm I'm not the manager so but those were the uh, mistakes in my opinion now moving on to top four is top four a realistic goal well i'm still very positive and i think that we can achieve it the only thing is we have to win all 10 games and nothing less win all 10 games and hope that chelsea or leicester or both of them just fall off and they cannot win many games to be fair chelsea and leicester and i will put their some of the next games uh, now Uh, they have a quite hard schedule, to be fair, because they're playing Man City, they're playing Everton today, um, playing sides which are battling relegation, and the relegation battle is really on, so it will be really hard for them. So they might fall, but I don't want to depend on others. I want to depend on us and on our performances. So I think that we have to win 10 games all of the 10 games to even think that we could be in the, I want to say title contention, no, in top four. But yeah, those are my, my thoughts. So the next thing I wanted to discuss is upcoming tie against Leipzig. We are 2-0 up on the aggregate, so I'm quite positive about this game, but I can't be too positive because I know we can bottle it. I know if they score one or if they score two, we might just put our heads down and not fight. Which I really think is a really weird thing for Liverpool, thinking about all those games we won last season. For example, Aston Villa game, we were 1-0 uh, down uh, away at Aston Villa until like 82nd minute. And then Drobo scored. And then Mane scored in injury time. So these things don't happen anymore. And our mentality is just... It's just we're not mentality midgets, like Karago said. I thought it was very weird, but something is wrong. And the second something goes wrong, all of us think, okay, here we go again. Everything will be bad. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I hope that we can show up and this can be something like new for us and new competition and a competition where this year we actually had good luck. Like, we won almost all games we played in Champions League and we only conceded like two or three goals so we can definitely try and if we go further this can be our light in such a doom season if we can go to semi-final or even the final and win that will be oh, that will be amazing like literally that would save the season but yeah we have to do we have to win games and we just have to get our mentality back and only then we can talk about winning the Champions League and getting the top four. Yeah. yeah, and then I just wanted to talk about international break because obviously it's coming up. And what do you think, guys? Will it help us? Won't it help us? Personally, I think it will help us. Uh, I think it's two weeks and uh, quite a lot of players won't be let go. For example, like Fabinho and uh, Firmino, even though he's injured right now. And I don't think Salah and Mane will be in Keita, won't be let go as well. There is a potential that Alisson will go to Brazil, but not to play, but just to visit his family. And grieve the loss of his father, which is completely fine and obviously makes a lot of sense. But all the other players, I don't think they will be let go. Yeah, probably... Uh, Trent will have to play, thank God Henderson cannot go to England, 
because I don't like him going to England. I'd rather have him at Liverpool, so it's good he needs the recovery and everything. But yeah. And then, yeah, I don't know who else, if there will be many players who will go to the international break to play for their national teams. And also Jota can't go to Portugal, so that's kind of good in our perspective. But yeah, I think it will do us a lot of good. We will have a lot of time, firstly, to relax, to relax, and then just train together, get to momentum as a team back and just bond and try new things maybe try new formation not 4-3-3 but like 4-3-2-1 or four, uh, what, how did we play 3-2-5 like we can try so many things and come up with new inspiration and <laughs> yeah i'm talking like funny words right now but yeah i think international break will uh it will really help us and if we can win these games or at least like get further in champions league even by losing for example one nil completely fine if we can go further in these competitions and then uh, win against wolves it will help us to get the momentum back then we have to break to even continue on that and continue improving and relax and then when we come back, we're relaxed and happier <laughs> and we can continue winning and then hopefully get the top four and the Champions League. That's just me. <laughs> I'm just being positive, I think. <laughs> but yeah, and that's it for me, guys. I think it was a bit chaotic and all over the place, but I think you got what I meant and I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like. Um, yeah, talk about the issues I mentioned in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts and reply to you. So yeah, thank you.